So we're out here on Parquet Fernando today for the final installment of checking out the newly reset populations from the Sooner Baton update. Now, Black Bear and Bobcat populations were reset as well, but I'm not as worried about those because of course they didn't get the cool new models like Black Buck and Water Buffalo did. So the dream here is a big albino Water Buffalo or one of the cool new rares for Black Buck, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just see what we can find out here. And of all things, we might be starting off with a cinnamon teal here, and then maybe we can shoot one of the water buffalo drinking back there behind it, but it's really hard to tell from a distance if that's piebald or melanistic. Piebald cinnamon teal, no big deal. Melanistic cinnamon teal are absurdly rare, so that's gonna get him. By the way, got some water buffalo walking right underneath our tower here too, and that didn't even seem to get the attention of those buffalo back there, so I've got the Championship 338, the one you actually earn from Parquet. Hopefully that will bring us some additional luck. And just as he started to turn away there, we took that shot. So that might have cost us. We hit something. See if we can maybe get a follow-up shot just to make sure. Naturally, he just completely disappeared in there. There he is. Not sure that's a vital, but maybe it'll help. And also, kind of almost missed it there. A black buck just called right as we turned around. So one of the reasons, actually, actually a nice one, up to 114, one of the reasons that we're starting off in this area of Parquet is because I expect to be able to find Black Buck along the way. Now, probably shot just a touch low there with the 44 lever action. Maybe can still save it if we can hit him. And that shows like, the reason the gun is so good is just when it hits vitals, it is absurd. That's gonna bring him down way more quickly. And a bit of chaos to get us going, but we'll see what all we ended up with. And of course, we can't just start off chaotically and then end. Gotta have a water buffalo chasing us as we come up, up here to grab our teal. I really can't even differentiate up close, so we're just gonna have to claim it to find out. And that is, unfortunately, just a piebald. Pretty decent one, 4.42, but nothing all that special there. Rather convenient, this one just died right in front of us, so we'll take that. And then our other one, we should have hit him right in here. And I don't see any visible big splashes of blood, so that shot might not have been so great. Actually, turns out, he was just way further south than I thought. Both shots ended up being into the vitals. First one, <laughs> liver and stomach. Second one, stomach and liver. 133 scoring gold, though, after all of that. And now we're going to go and grab our black buck, and we'll finally be caught up. And it does look like that shot that helped to bring him down was actually just non-vital. So he is a 108 silver after all that. Hit him, man, just a touch too low on the first shot. Second shot, I'm kind of surprised that didn't hit the liver. I guess 300 meters, maybe the 44 slowed down quite a bit. But unfortunately didn't quite punch through despite having it at least kind of on target to end up getting their kind of Texas hard shot style or Texas liver shot style in this case. But if we move up this way, check out this lake and then pr probably go up into Bosque Muerto, we should be able to have chances at both Black Buck and Water Buffalo before we go and check the coast. And we finally do have our first decent one, just a seven up to 162. If we can just sneak that shot in there, got yet another aggressive one to deal with and then I don't even know how that's happened, how some got behind us, but should be good to take this guy out, maybe for the sake of it, just try to hit him one more time, or he can just stop and completely dodge it, now he's gonna flee. How interesting, they typically just don't give up, and they'll die charging, oh we did hit him, <laughs> right in the end of the horn, well good to know. You can hit water buffalo horns, so if you go to shoot one broadside and its horns are covered as vitals, probably steer clear of that. Now luckily this one, we definitely did not shoot in the horn. 150 score in gold, got him stomach, liver, and lungs, so as long as we can keep shooting like that and not like we did on the last one, we should be all good. I'll tell you what's like taking me some time by the way, is just when we get black buck calls, actually paying attention to them for so long, they've just reached this point of being completely overlooked, I hear the call and don't even turn to go and check it out, but that is of course half of what we're after today. 
so we need to pay attention when we get those warning and mating calls. Now I do believe this is at least an uncommon. That looks to be the black fur for water buffalo, which used to just be one of the two commas. It was gray and black. Now that's like an uncommon. And I mean, you know, getting a little somewhere then. Not quite the albino we're after. But we'll go ahead and take that. That should be like kind of back of the lungs-ish, I would think. Not going down though. At least not as fast as I would have hoped. See if we can maybe get a follow-up shot just in case. That's going to be a little better, I think. Hopefully one of the two found the lungs anyway. But it is pretty cool to see. This is the first one that we've gotten with the new models at least. And you can really notice the difference. They are like jet black, like the jet black fur for the wild yaks over on Sooner Patan. They really stand out. That actually looks really nice. Silver at 90.37. And over the years, I'm sure we've shot some diamonds with the black fur. And I don't even know if we have any displayed in the trophy lodge right now, but probably we'll have to go back and look because we may shift some stuff around regardless of scores. If we can get one with that really cool fur in the lodge, probably we ought to do it. I'm pretty sure that's another black fur female water buffalo. All this time, you know, hunting Sundar Patan and running around here today, we have not had a single male with that fur. And frankly, like, unless I've missed it over on Sundar Patan and stuff, we haven't had a female either. Now, two here today on Parquet. I mean, that's definitely what that is. You can see it so obviously. I wonder if we've just had, like, really kind of absurd luck here. Or if somehow females are more likely to have the fur. Because frankly, if a female water buffalo warning calls or whatever, I'm probably not paying that much attention. Obviously, if a male does, looking for a rare or a diamond, that's one thing. But to find two like this, and like I said, they stand out so much, I think I would have noticed it. It's really interesting. Well, we finally have a mythical. And go figure, it's standing next to another mythical. All this time, the best one we've seen is a seven. And then two mythicals in the same herd. So if we just shoot there, get everybody else's attention. Somehow he's only attentive. Now we gotta be kind of careful about this. As long as that doesn't spook him. How is he just so oblivious? There we go. Only took three shots. <laughs> Already got the other mythical taken off. Those are running over top of him. And that guy, as oblivious as he was, had absolutely no chance with that 338 round to the heart. We are, by the way, way up here. We're basically in the top corner. We'll go all the way up to that corner there. Other than this lake here, that's pretty much all the water buffalo territory I want to check today. So we will pretty soon be on to black buck drink time. And I'm going to be real intrigued to look at that because we haven't hunted black buck in their drink time, honestly, since they drank in the middle of the day. These reworks that, you know, have really cool looking things like this. Our water buffalo leaning against that log with a much better look to the model. That's why it's even worth going and checking out the black buck now. So that guy's a 151. Nothing special as mythical water buffalo go. And just, just barely touched the heart. It even doesn't look like it completely did in the harvest screen, but it doesn't always show it, show it perfectly. But a 151 gold, we'll see if we can manage to get anything else as we scoot up through here. But nice to finally even see an 8. And now we are officially on the black buck. And we've got a pretty nice 4 up to 130 as our potential first one. So going to get that shot with the 44. And especially given the fact that there are multiple new rares, going to try to keep a real close eye on anything that runs out of there. I think one of the maybe tougher ones, once it's officially dark, is going to be just noticing a melanistic in the brush. It's one thing if they're out in the open, because you can look for the white spots around the eyes and stuff, but I think once it gets completely dark, we might have issue with that. And by the way, that water buffalo is a really good example. Maybe, just maybe, if we missed anything, they'll come and find us while we're chasing Black Buck. And speaking of, this guy is going to be a 119 dark brown. Not a bad looking one at all to get us going. Diamond is 132.26, that's probably worth paying attention to. And I'm not so sure where that water buffalo even got to now, so we'll just keep on moving. Oh, you have to be kidding me. We actually have the new piebald black buck. It's a level 3 up to 109. I'm not 100% sure what gold is, and what I definitely don't know is if rare black buck 
score top of the estimate. Now, with the 44 at that range, I'm not sure that I trust myself to not just whiff. Considering how that first shot of the hunt went, I think we're actually going to back up the 300 and try to get him with the 243. That looks so cool. I'm so glad that we spent all this time out here and it's paid off. Now we just got to make sure we can hit the shot. Let's turn the light off. So that makes it a little tougher. Really don't want to mess this up. Going to let him lift his head. And as soon as he does, we'll try to actually get this in there. Taking his time with it. There we go. That felt just about right. He's going down. And we've got ourselves not only just a rare black buck, but one of the new variants. Albino and Piebald obviously got added. Leucistic and Melanistic were in the game in the past. All of them look amazing. But that new piebald is really sweet. And we spent like two hours checking all the water buffalo spots and basically nothing. We haven't been after Black Buck really for probably 20 minutes yet. Look at that guy. Those eyes like the spotting pattern on the back and stuff. Not bad looking horns. He's definitely even. Actually like a really light color patch on the back of the head too. That's really neat. Unfortunate that it's dark, but that is kind of when Black Buck drink. Now, fingers crossed as we claim this. He is a 101, so he doesn't... Man, does that look cool. He doesn't score. Top of the estimate. Man, if he did, he would have been a gold, because gold is 106. What an awesome looking Black Buck, though. A really big one of these for the Lodge would be fantastic. I mean, the detail in them. You really see the fur, like, down the neck and the back. There's so much better just as far as the models go you can see like the eyelashes and stuff even like little whiskers and stuff around the nose i don't know if any deer species have that that is super detailed really cool to see it up close and i'm glad we can do that since you know as we just talked about they kind of do drink at night man i can't wait we're gonna definitely spend some time down the road trying to get at least a gold pie ball for our lodge Hopefully one day they had a multi-mount, because I'd love to have a couple of them. You know, it's a good thing that that piebald happened to be in a place that I'm kind of aware is a good black buck spot. Because we're not finding that many. And even when we do, it's like this, where they end up spooking first. It just so happens, these ones spooked out into the open here in Bosque Muerto. So we're actually able to find them. But at least we were able to bring him down. And I think, honestly... We're going to take that piebald back to the trophy lodge. I can't wait to get a look at it up close in the light. So we'll head back to our second trophy lodge and find him a spot. And one of the many great things about Spring Creek Manor is the absolute plethora of these size platforms where we can put really cool looking rares. I mean, that is one of the best piebalds in the entire game i mean it's the eyes the detail we've already talked about like you can see the hair in the ears just the little whiskers around the nose and the chin and stuff I, i'm gonna have to look at some other deer species like there's barasinga down here do those show any because i never noticed it like i know obviously the cat species have it but it's such a tiny little detail that i think it makes a really big difference and yeah barasinga don't have it i don't think any deer species have it but interestingly enough, at least the piebald black buck have it. We'll have to check with the commons at some point. But super cool pattern, super detailed model. And as I said, if we can get a really good sized one, that would be amazing. Actually, I think it's right through here. When black buck initially got their true horns, there was a really odd thing with the rares where the horns were always kind of uneven. I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah, when we zoom in, you can. Really completely different colors and sizes of those horns. And that always bothered me. It's also really cool that our piebald actually is even. But I think that's probably enough ranting and raving about this guy. A really cool kill. And hopefully the first of many rare black buck to come. But on that note, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.